My name is Frank Cox. I was born in 1903. So Frank, what do you guys got going on today? What's going We're on? We're doing a class with our friends Andy and Kim from Smoke on Wheels uh, here at the Steelworkers Union in Topeka, Kansas. We're gonna teach them how to build ugly drum smokers using our kits. And Andy's gonna throw down and teach them how to cook on the drum smokers. Do you feel like you're going to learn something today? I absolutely know I'm going to learn something because I've never actually taken one of Andy's classes. Andy has a lot of experience doing these kind of things. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a great class today. We're going to cook ribs, pork, chicken. We're cooking live on the brand new drums that we're making today in class. So you're going to see soup to nuts, how to do a little bit slower cook and a little bit hotter cook uh, on the drums. There's a lot of engineering that's gone into these drums and they're all produced right here in the Midwest. So all of the parts come straight from those guys. So if you've got any questions when we're out there digging around, Frank loves to go deep. It's like we call this the backyarder. That's what we're building today. The way that these things work is uh, we're controlling how much air can get to these. Some of you guys already have some of the older cans or whatever, and you've probably got some experience with cooking on the thing. And when you open the lid, if it's open too long or too short, you know, whatever, then you wind up with a dip and then an increase in temperature and things like that. So you know that keeping these things really, really tightly sealed is, is very important to uh, how long your cook and how it can be and then how easy it is to control it. So what we'll do is we'll start, we've already drilled all the holes for you and uh, we're just gonna start bolting some stuff together. We'll work on the outside of the can first and I think Andy wants to go back in and cook a little more and then we'll come back out and we'll put the insides together. Okay, so we're gonna put our uh, uprights on and uh, what happens is it's easier. You can either bend over and go down inside or we can like, tilt it over and however you want to do it. Uh, we're going to kind of wait to do the big clean until we're totally done. So we would just wipe off our air inlet holes down here at the bottom. And then these are called upright air inlets. So you're each going to need two of these. And that's the first piece we're going to bolt on. And it takes two people to tango on this deal because you got to reach one inside and one outside. Have you made an ugly drum smoker before? No, but I, my brother-in-laws all cook on them. All right, yeah. right. I got three brother-in-laws that all cook on drums. Oh, you're going to be a step ahead of them with this yeah, one. They're going to be jealous, I guarantee it. How are you liking your build so far? Doing good, love it. What's the first thing you're going to cook in it? Probably chicken. Chicken? Okay. What's the first thing you're going to cook in it? Probably ribs. Ribs? Ribs. For sure. For sure, uh, ribs. Yep. I got a big old pork belly at home. I'm thinking about making some of them pork belly burn ends to take camping with me next weekend. Well, so me and Andy threw down. So Andy brought his A game today. He cooked some chicken and ribs and uh, had some. he trimmed up some pork. I love going to these things because there's so much information that's just like we take for granted because we've been doing it for so long. But you get to rewind the clock a little bit and uh, you know go, go through like competition barbecue 101 and you know Andy's been teaching people how to do this stuff forever. Anytime I'm able to teach somebody how to build a, co a cooker and then we get to cook on them, I mean come on. Yeah it's that's, great that's so awesome. I mean the, the be that's the best part about this class is while we're building the pits yep. we're also cooking on the yep. pits at the same and, time and then to be able to build your pit take it home and cook on it yep. I mean there, there's nothing that draws people together more than 
that. So yeah, let us know if you're interested in having a class like this, uh, whether it be for work or for fun or just community. Just let us know and we'd sure like to work with you. Um, anyway, comment down below uh, if you have any ideas. Uh, Andy also brings to the table about what, 40 different kinds of classes sure, that you can absolutely. teach? absolutely. I mean, the sausage one is the one that's got me intrigued because I'm a sausage nut. But uh, anyway, so please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. You know, find Andy. You can follow him all over the place, and uh, we'll see you next time. Great.